Time Spook here, and uh, just out here walking along here, guys. Uh, you know, out back of the place, and uh, gonna have a little bit of a fire and have a little bit of a talk about uh, a very cool little stove, and uh, also a very awesome knife that means the world to me that I just received uh, from a very very good friend. So I'm gonna get this thing going here, guys, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. What's up, guys? So we got the old uh, Uberluden uh, Stoker camp stove going here. I used uh, one of my PineFireShop.com uh, fire implements here, and uh, I have a video on some of these guys if you want to check them out. Immaculate stuff, guys. No matter what you got going on, as long as you process them right, old Spook burned a couple up without using them correctly, which wasn't a testament to the product. It was a testament of Spook being too uh, horned up and uh, moving too fast one day. Once I learned how to actually process it up, they work great. So I'm going to show you the Stoker stove, guys, and uh, I'm going to show you the Kessel kettle here in a second. So just bear with me. I'll get everything moving along here, and uh, we'll go from there. Having a heck of a time seeing you guys. I got my sunglasses on, but uh, the sun is super bright, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, uh, you know, if you see me squinting, guys, it's not that... Uh, you know, I'm trying to be silly or anything like that, guys. I'm just uh, having a little bit of trouble seeing into this camera. Just one second, guys, and I'll get back with you. All right, guys, so what we got going on here, uh, I'm going to show you the kettle and the uh, in the stove, but it is called the Kessel kettle and uh, the Stoker uh, twig stove, guys. And I'll tell you, these are super, super coming handy, guys, for what you need to... If you want to just pack a couple things in and be able to cook and, you know, get a coffee going and do things like that that don't weigh very much and are very nicely done, uh, this has an awesome, awesome draft for like a little stove. So I'm just going to set it up here, guys, and uh, and just pretty much, yeah, you guys can have a look yourself and watch it for 30 seconds and see how it uh, how it works, basically. As you can see the draft and stuff guys, uh, you know, it just works really well. It's, it's basically one of those type of things that's sucking air in. So I mean, you, you keep the, as long as you keep the wood to it, and this is going to take no time at all to boil this water. And another thing too that's awesome guys, is uh, for the most part, I mean this handle's collapsible. So you can take it and hang it from a tree or do whatever, but I'm going to, oh, once I'm done uh, doing this, we're going to do another review. I was just out with this guys, and before I kind of... I uh, will say do some reviews guys for the next little bit I'm gonna take stuff out and use it a lot more instead of just jumping right into it But uh, this one I've been using quite a bit and I love the setup You can see how good that draft is working guys and uh, Just very very good setup, but I'm gonna set you up a little bit different here guys and face you towards my grandfather's Maybe so I can see a little bit better and while my uh, water's boiling, I'm going to show you an awesome, awesome knife from a very good friend of mine. There we go, guys. I want you to be able to see me because this is really important to me. But uh, And disregard the triple X knife sheath because this is just an extra sheath I had lying around. And it fits uh, this knife absolutely perfect. So I actually took some uh, beeswax and kind of dipped this and then ran it across quite a few times. And, and I'm going to do it a couple more times just to kind of... You know make it fit the fit the knife very well but this is a knife by my friend paul from neanderthal outdoors uh, over in england and paul is just an immaculate guy just a really good buddy of mine he's always got you know positive stuff to say and we've been friends for years now on uh, social media and uh, i hope someday to meet paul because he's just a good good fella and uh, out of his own out of his own uh, gumption, he made me this knife, guys. He just knows I love knives, and he wanted to make me something, you know, that I would, uh, you know, that I would like. And but guys, do I ever love this? It's 90 degree spine. It's made out of an older Golock, and uh, he totally did this without any any electrical tools. So this is all hand done. It has English oak scales and green liners. And uh, look at the belly on that, guys. This thing cuts like an absolute dream. So we're going to get out and get a video of this up, uh, doing some tasks. But for now, I'm just kind of showing it to you. But uh, just, just immaculate, guys. Sharp, sharp, 90-degree spine. Throw sparks, awesome. And just a beautiful, beautiful job. And I uh, just so, so much appreciate this, guys. 
And I'm not uh, real super sentimental a lot of the time sometimes, guys, but this about brought a tear to my eyes because it's just so nice for him to do that. And I just love it so much because it just fits my hand. I mean, I didn't show Paul any measurements or anything, guys, and this thing absolutely fits my hand like it, like it was made just for me, which it was, but, I mean, almost like he snuck in and measured my hand or whatever because, I mean, it's just crazy how much how good this fits, guys. And you got the utmost control, and I love the design of it. A lot of other people have said that as well. Uh, my buddy Sean from Instagram, uh, he said he just loves how there's that sweep on there. And, I mean, just awesome. I mean, it really is the design of the knife. You know, Paul should be patenting the friggin' design because it's just that perfect. But uh, his handle scales are, or his hand scales are just immaculate, guys. Um, just fits so well. And you, it's just going to be a knife I'm going to carry a lot. Because I'm going to use it. Paul wouldn't want me to stick this somewhere and not use it. So I'm going to use the heck out of this thing, guys. And, uh, you know, I got a good sheath for it now because I didn't have a sheath. But uh, just immaculate. But I'm going to stoke up the fire here, guys. And then you'll see that more in other videos. And get our coffee on the go here and then maybe finish this off. I just want to stop and say hello. And before we get into too big of a rigmarole, guys, I know that YouTube changed a lot of stuff. But, guys, I mean, there's nothing you can do. They're a massive corporation. All you can do is support the smaller channels back and forth. And that's what I'm doing. I had some people support me, and I'm going to support them. Well, the water's nice and hot, guys. So I'm going to plop in myself a little three-in-one coffee. And enjoy that. So just bear with me, guys. I don't even know what you guys can see, but I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. That's what the heck of the thing about the sun glare, guys. And I wanted to just come to this spot. It's just right out back of the house. And I'd already gone for a pretty good little walk. So I decided just to come down here in my buddy's uh, snowmobile track out back of the house. And, uh, you know, do it, do it this way. But what I like to do too, guys, is kind of plop it in while it's boiling. And you got a nice wooden, uh, on the, on the kestrel, kestrel. Kessel, you have a nice wooden top on it right there, easy to grab, and it is boiling, so I'm going to plop that in right like that. And instead of stirring it, just let it boil in for a few minutes, because it's not going to hurt it to keep boiling. And uh, it's actually like an abnormally, you know, warm, warm day right now too, guys, which is kind of crazy. But, uh, you know, the weather has been so weird. We've had these like flash floods, flash freezes, and just all this stuff. But, uh... Out with the uh, VLOX 2 pack, guys. There's going to be a video coming up of that. That's just an immaculate, immaculate uh, backpack. Fits everything I need in it for a good day slash assault pack, I guess you would call it. Another Uber Luden product right here, guys. I mean, anything Uber Luden's making, guys, I love it, basically. Um, they've been really good to me as far as letting me review products for them. And uh, they're just good friends, too. But... I have a little bit of a carve while we're waiting for that to steep up a bit. But look at that, guys. This thing by Paul, he was he was saying it might need a strop, guys. This thing you could shave your shave the hair off a yak. Just sharp, 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 beautiful edge. Look at that, guys. It's immaculate. Thank you very much, Paul. But I'm gonna get this coffee poured off too, guys. And uh, probably go for another little bit of a walk, I would imagine, because it's so nice out. This also has like a pour and spout type deal on it. But I want to say cheers to Uberluden, cheers to my buddy Paul, and uh, everybody stay safe. And uh, you know, get out and enjoy what you can, guys, of the wilderness. Um, right here, I got all this land I can explore. Today I just kind of went for a walk, and sometimes, guys, I mean, you don't got to get out 450. I said this before in videos. You don't got to go 500 kilometers out in the back country. Some people think if you're not in a survival situation, then you can't be practicing bushcraft, guys. We have all this land. I'm just right out back of the house right now. I went for a big walk up around, and it was a nice day, and I decided to come kind of closer to the house because now I can sit and have finished my coffee, have a little bit of a whittle. And I don't have a 45 kilometer walk back to the house because I've already did my walk to get exercise. So uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to show you another shot of this and uh, just say thank you to Uber Luden and thank you to my buddy Paul. You're going to see that knife all the time, guys. I absolutely love that one. So if you ask, you know, I don't know. That's another thing people are definitely going to ask. I'm not sure. Paul usually makes the knives for friends for like a gift. 
So I don't know if you could coax him into selling you one if he made one because he makes file knives, guys, that are just bomb proof and awesome. His handles are just as good as any knife maker, you know, on the planet or better than some of them. <clears throat> so I don't know if you could coax him into actually selling a knife or if he just makes them for buddies. So anyway, guys, I'm going to show you a little shot of this. Just a beautiful setup. You got the Kestrel and the uh, Stoker stove. Got my beautiful Kooksa, some pine fire shop stuff, guys. Got it going. And you can just stoke it up, get the sticks in there. I process all this wood with Paul's knife too, but uh, I did it in the garage to uh, be out of the wind and do it, guys. So you got to kind of work smart, not hard, I guess, sometimes. But uh, just a heck of a day out. And I'm going to keep on striking after my coffee, guys, and then I'll probably head back into the house. So anyway, guys, stay safe. Keep your stick on the ice. And uh, Spook signing out.